What's up my Donovan production family? We are back in Donovan's kitchen. Why? We are not cooking today. Mm -mm. We're not cooking today. You know what we're gonna do? We are going to wipe down all of this, all of this. We're gonna make sure everything is clean. And if you saw my one video earlier, I did a solution of vinegar and, I mean, vinegar and, um, vinegar and water is good. I did a bleach water solution right here we're going to really clean the kitchen so stay tuned and i hope you like it all right everyone we are back i only have like two of these so i am saving these for my stove so what am i going to do Grab me a blue towel and a red towel. Keep my red towel over here. Now, as you saw in one of my earlier videos, we did a cleaning. We we put 25% bleach and um, the rest is filled with water. So what I'm gonna do is just make sure it's shook up good. Now, I just did dishes, uh, as you can see in my earlier video, and my countertop is still a little dirty. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sanitize it. Set that right there and then I'm just gonna clean it. Now y'all this towel I will use all day today because I will come back in here and do this again. Now with me, y'all gonna probably think this is crazy, but I hit that black that backsplash because you put your dishes up there and everything, so it needs to get cleaned as well. So we're gonna clean that. I have a project that I'm thinking about doing in here. I miss the clubs. I miss the heavy metal music. I miss messing with the bartenders. Of course, I don't drink anymore. I really don't, y'all. Boy, I used to put the drinks away. So what we're doing is I'm just going over my countertop real good. Now that's my wet one. <coughs> so. Now I got my dry one. Just gonna go, oh man, it smells like bleach water. I don't know about y'all, but it makes me feel better when I smell bleach. It's not a strong overpowering, but it's there. You know, you know it's good and clean. All right, y'all, we are going to move on down. We're gonna move on down and I'm gonna show you the sink part now. So how's everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing awesome. I am doing some, uh, moving my camera around a little bit so I can get a good angle for y'all. I wanna be able to do good for you. Yeah, we're gonna have to have the wipes from my stove. All right. Here's this one and here's this one. Now, when it comes to my sink, I wanna make sure I get everything so I will pick up everything I don't need, like my soap here, I'll put it up there. Uh, my little sponge and drain stopper, I will actually put that underneath the sink with the soap. Because I usually try not to have nothing up here because this is where I cook. So what we're going to do, we're just gonna drench everything, just hit it. We're gonna hit all around the sides, inside. And this is what I do. Don't mean you have to, but this is how I feel like I am actually doing good with what all is going on. And maybe that's why, knock on wood, I have not received, not received, but not get it yet. So, I'm just gonna start right here since my stomach is always right up against it or part of my body we're just going to work our way around this stuff hits the floor that's all right because we're going to sweep here in just a minute now here's the thing y'all there's a little lip way back here and i had a teacher poor miss vicky thank you girl thank you for helping me realize how dirty you gotta watch your fucking head right here too shit that hurt all right we're getting that all clean 
go around our edges. And I'm just gonna get this all done real quick because we touch all this area. You wanna touch, you wanna spray down and get everything that you have touched. Get our little nozzle here. Underside too. Now you always put some, a lot of people forget the underside, but nope. Get that underside too now. Get that upper part. Now when I do this, y'all, I will have to um, I will have to switch towels. Because after I do my sink, I'm not letting it touch my uh, cabinets and all that. So what I'm doing is just going through here and cleaning my sink. Just wiping it all down because I know it's getting clean and you don't, you want your dishes to be clean. And that's a good thing about a dishwasher, but y'all, I don't like a dishwasher. So this is like my daily routine right here. This is my daily routine because I want to make sure everything that is a part of me is staying clean. Now that's been clean. I'm just gonna toss that down there and we'll get that in a minute. Now. Our dry towel, I just will go over the, the nozzle here of the sink, and I will get my little knobs here that I touch every day. Just wanna, I just always touch that up. Now, this will become my, oh, whoa, 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 where y'all going? Now, hold on, y'all going for a ride. All right, I was actually coming to move y'all, so bear with me, y'all are going for a ride. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is this little area, this now will become my uh, towel for bleach. And we're just gonna set this Clorox right over here because that's what's gonna do our stove here in a minute. So, and I actually like these towels because they have a little grip. I bought this at the dollar store. I think I got like three of them. These are handy, y'all. So I'm going to spray down my little area. Now, the reason I'm not doing my black splash right here is because I have an outlet right here that will shock the shit out of me. So we're just going to get this really good clean. Now, I will get the black splash if I have extra, uh, extra um, Clark wipe. I just want to get underneath that little lip right there. I want to get right next to the stove. So there that is, all right? We're moving that towel on down there. We're just gonna use our dry towel now and just kind of wipe it up a little bit. Now, <clears throat> here's our bleach water too. Now I'm gonna use my Clorox wipes just for the stove. <laughs> Y'all, that is my last one. Crapola. Alright, now what I'm going to do is just slowly go through here. And I like using these Clorox wipes because I can feel where there's stuff stuck to it. And I'm just going to go around and around. Just a little bit. Just do a little section at a time. And feel for all that gunk that's built up on your... Um, stove here and yeah I have a little stove y'all so what we're gonna do is just gonna go all up and down this side flip it over and I'm just gonna go in between the burners actually I'm going around the burners here see I felt a little poo there and I could hear it also I use my hearing a lot I use my feeling and my hearing a lot and I'm gonna put this just right on the floor because we're fixing to sweep here in a minute anyway. I'm gonna steam clean my floors today. So, if you would like to see how I steam clean my floors, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, and hit that bell so you know when I can do a new video. And if y'all are curious to know how I steam my floors, please leave a comment down below saying steam clean floors. So now what I'm doing is just getting my front right here, all my knobs. Of course, I'm just doing this to get all the greasy stuff off. I'm gonna come back and do my knobs with the bleach water. All right, that was my last one. Now, there's still a little bit of juice in here, y'all. 
little bit of juice. Still a little bit of cleaning agent, so leave it there. Don't throw that away. Don't even throw that down the sink. All right, I'm going to get my bleach water. Let's see if I can bring y'all over here. Sorry for all the weird angles today. Sorry for all the weird stuff that's going on in here. All right, my knobs right here. Just hit it with bleach. Da -da 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 -da. Just wipe it down. Got some on my cabinet here. We need to get that off real quick. All right. And just really just hit it because you touch this every day. Just touch all your knobs. Take the time to really clean all this because you know, like I said, you touch us every day and we need to make sure you stay safe. You know, that's why I'm a little bit of doing this. Now I have an awning. have an awning up here here i'll just go hands on with this one now i don't use any really any chemicals on my rag here except for the wetness and i'm just gonna lightly go over my hood here just lightly go over your hood that way you don't spend hours on hours trying to clean this damn thing so see all i'm doing is that now Everything is dry, so I'm gonna come back over here. We're just gonna go lightly all over the stove because this will get up any grime that I might've missed or anything. And Clorox wipes do leave a little bit of a film, but I love them, y'all. I just, I discovered them and I love them. Now I'm just gonna hit my hood again. There we go. Now we're just gonna read, come down here and just go over this a little bit more. We're not worried about our knobs, y'all. They're they're clean and dry. So that is how I basically clean my my countertops and sink. So I think it looks really good. It feels really smooth. Um, I'm fixing to do a project in here. I'm not gonna reveal it yet. Y'all just have to hit that bell and hit that subscribe button to find out what the what that will be. And I will do something special for um, my 50 subscription. If I can get 50 subscribers. If I hit 50 subscribers, we'll figure out what we can do something special for that day. So please stay tuned and uh, Stay tuned and please like all the videos and just give me your comments. Give me feedback because that's how I can make you happier. And if I can do it, I can do it. If not, I will see what we can do to arrange it to where you can get that video you're looking for. So please stay tuned for the next video and I will see y'all in the next video.